The Clark Intercultural Center um, bears my last name, and that is because that's the first home that my parents built together. Um, and I, when I was born, that was the home that I went to. And we were there till I was probably about, I believe, five years old. Um, my sister is five, six years older than me, and she um, also you know, was in that home until uh, we moved. And we moved because Longwood was expanding. And as Longwood was expanding, they wanted to acquire some new land. Um, and so they kept the Clark House, um, and that's the previous name for it. And now it's the Clark Intercultural Center. The Clark Intercultural Center has been a vision that we have worked to try to create over the last three or four years. And essentially we wanted to create a center whereby students really could feel as if they had a refuge or a home away from home. You know, an opportunity for a lot of our underrepresented student populations to really feel that they could have a sense of connection and belonging to the campus, but also providing an opportunity for everyone on campus to really come together, to really engage in some of those dynamic conversations where we begin to examine and explore and share, you know, the, the cultural experiences and differences that we have and find ways in which we can sort of work together. Uh, it's a big step in the right direction just for diversity, inclusion, and unity here on Longwood's campus. Having a space like this is so crucial just to make people feel comfortable, regardless if you're a minority student or just a regular student or anybody, you know. Just having a space where you can feel like, you know, you can feel like this is home, you know, and I think it's definitely a step in the right direction. I think that the Clark Intercultural Center um, holds um, significant importance at this point and I think that it's such um, a poignant time for it to be open because of everything that's been going on um, nationwide in terms of race relations um, and we haven't been celebrating differences differences have been used to divide us and so Longwood once again um, as well as the Farmville community and Prince Edward community is sort of serving as a beacon of hope um, and, and shedding positive light on celebrating differences um, rather than using them to divide. Um, and really Longwood is setting an example for what should be taking place right now. Oh man, I feel like the center, especially since my senior year, I never would have thought I would see like a center, like a, a real intercultural center like this, this right here on Longwood's campus. So it shows me that we're heading in the right direction as a university. Um, and we're going towards really making sure that all students' voices are heard and that they all have a, a, at least a safe place, a safe place to um, kind of congregate and get together and just chill or uh, study and just, you know, hang out. I would say, you know, come check it out, you know, for yourself, see what it's about. You know, it truly is a, a non-threatening space. Um, it is a space as we continue to evolve the decor. Uh, is going to be representative of many of the student organizations, you know, that are on campus. Uh, and so I would always say, you know, have the courage to, to come in, uh, sit a while, have a conversation with us, pull up a chair, uh, and I guarantee you that you'll come back. Yeah, just come out, come out, check it out, uh, even if you are it's scared that you're not going to be like included. Like, just come out, check it out, walk through the rooms, get the vibe. You know, bring some homework, bring a friend, um, and yeah, just support it. It's, it's I, I'm excited to see where the Clark Intercultural Center goes. Mm -hmm.